Warlords? We've heard all about these military and political dictators, who caused ruin to countless innocent people and were responsible for some of the most heinous crimes against humanity. From Idi Amin of Uganda, Muammar Gaddafi of Libya, Charles Taylor of Liberia, and Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe. However, in this video, we would only pay attention to those warlords that justice finally caught up with them and were sentenced to death. So, if you're a fan of disturbing crime stories, you'd better sit tight for this one as we'll uncover some of the world's most feared warlords and their shocking reactions to their death sentences. Number 1. Saddam Hussein Saddam Hussein was one man that had a long and notorious history of crimes. In 1959, he once participated in a failed attempt by Ba'athists to assassinate the Iraqi Prime Minister Abdul Karim Qasim. He then escaped, first to Syria and then Egypt, but was finally arrested in 1964. But being the criminal he was, he managed to escape prison and went on to become the leader of the Ba'ath Party, working along President Ahmad Hassan al-Bakr, the then ruler of Iraq. After Ahmed al-Bakr's resignation, Hussein became the president of Iraq and his reign was nothing short of a nightmare. Saddam ruled Iraq with an iron fist for over two decades and his brutal regime has been responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent people. But in 2003, following the US-led invasion of Iraq, he was finally captured by American forces and put on trial for crimes against humanity. He was found guilty on all charges and sentenced to death by hanging. When the sentence was read out to him, Saddam remained stoic and unemotional, staring straight ahead as if nothing had happened. He showed no sign of remorse or regret, and it was as if he had resigned himself to his fate. But then it was only when the guards began to lead him away that he finally broke down, crying out in despair and pleading for mercy. His sudden outburst was shocking to many, as Saddam had previously shown himself to be an unfeeling and ruthless dictator. Number 2. Slobodan Milosevic Slobodan was another wicked dictator, who served as Serbia's party leader from 1989 to 1997 and president of Yugoslavia from 1997 to 2000, but his rule was only short-lived due to his cruel leadership. He was eventually charged with genocide, murder, prosecution on political, racial and religious grounds, extermination and unlawful confinement. As a result of this, Milosevic was arrested and put on trial at the International Criminal Tribunal. When the verdict was announced, Milosevic was visibly angry and shouted out in protest. He accused the tribunal of being biased and politically motivated and refused to accept his guilt. But Milosevic's reaction was not unexpected, as he had always maintained his innocence and had frequently accused the tribunal of being a tool for Western powers. However, his outburst was still shocking, as it demonstrated his willingness to accept responsibility for his actions. However, unfortunately, before his trial was even concluded, Milosevic was found dead in his prison cell on 11th March 2006 with a heart attack as a possible cause of death. Although some others believe his death was self-inflicted and seen as a final act of defiance against the tribunal. Number 3. Charles Taylor Yet another warlord whose reaction to his death sentence was shocking was Charles MacArthur Ganke Taylor, the former politician and president of Liberia from 1997 to 2003. During his term in office, he was accused of many war crimes because of his involvement in the Sierra Leone Civil War and other crimes against humanity, including rape, murder and the use of child soldiers. In August 2003, he resigned from office and went on to hiding in Nigeria. However, a new president of Liberia emerged, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, and requested Taylor's extradition. He was then detained by the UN authorities in Sierra Leone, found guilty of all charges in April 2012, and sentenced to 50 years in prison. His reaction to his sentence was unexpected, and it proved that even the most hardened warlord can be caught off guard by the weight of justice. Although he was not given a life sentence, 
his conviction and sentencing was seen as a significant victory for the victims of the Sierra Leonean Civil War. And throughout the world, Charles Taylor remains one of the most criminal warlords who aided and planned some of the most heinous and brutal crimes ever recorded in history. Number 4. Taha Yasin Ramadan Hassan Ramadan was the Iraqi vice president in 2004 during the time of the rising tensions between the US and Iraq. But he then came up with an unconventional solution to prevent the war and bloodshed. He suggested that the presidents and vice presidents of the two nations engage in a duel, with Kofi Annan, the Secretary General of the United States, acting as a referee. However, President George W. Bush quickly dismissed his idea, but little did Ramadan know that just two years later, he would be captured by the American forces and tried for crimes against humanity. His trial was finally held before the Iraqi High Tribunal, where he faced charges of his involvement in the execution of 148 Iraqi Shiites in 1982. The trial lasted for two years, and in November 2006, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. However, the IHT prosecutor saw the punishment was too lenient for his crimes and appealed for a harsher sentence, a death sentence. In March 2007, he was sentenced to death by hanging and his execution date was set for March 20th, 2007, which also served as the fourth anniversary of the US-led invasion of Iraq, and this was not a coincidence. Sadly, Yasin Ramadan's reaction to his sentencing and impending execution remains unknown. However, his trial and eventual execution served as a reminder of the atrocities committed during Saddam Hussein's regime. He was just one of the many high-ranking officials who were tried and sentenced for crimes against humanity, including genocide, torture, and war crimes. Number 5. Ratko Mladic Ratko Mladic was a former general and political leader of the Bosnian Serbs during the Bosnian War from 1992 to 1995. During this time, Mladic was responsible for overseeing the mass murder and ethnic cleansing of Bosniak civilians, as well as the siege of Sarajevo. He was indicted by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia in 1995 for his role in these atrocities, including the Srebrenica massacre of July 1995, where more than 8,000 Bosniak men and boys were systematically murdered by Bosnian Serb forces under Mladic's command. But despite being on the run for many years, he was finally arrested in 2011 in Serbia and extradited to The Hague to face trial at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. The trial lasted for five years, and in November 2017, Mladic was found guilty of genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. After his trial was concluded, Mladic was sentenced to life imprisonment, and the verdict was met with cheers and applause from the victims' his families and human rights activists. However, his reaction to his sentencing was quite different and shocking. He rained insults at the judges, accusing them of lying and fabricating evidence against him. But before he could go any further, he was forcibly removed from the courtroom and has since filed an appeal of his conviction and sentence. Mladic's case remains a reminder of the horrors of the Bosnian War and the importance of holding war criminals accountable for their actions. His conviction and sentencing represent a significant victory for justice and human rights, but it's also a sobering reminder of the atrocities committed during the war and the need to continue working towards reconciliation and healing for the victims and their families. Number 6. Irma Grace When we talk about wicked warlords and evil dictators, Irma Grace tops that list. She was a notorious Nazi guard during World War II, known for her cruelty and sadism towards prisoners at Auschwitz. As she quickly rose through the ranks to become a senior SS supervisor, where she reveled in the power and the authority she had over inmates, her reign of terror was seen by her meanness towards prisoners, including constant beatings, kicking prisoners with her jackboots, and having her dog attack the sick and defenseless. She also had a particular fondness for targeting women, hitting them on their breasts and even raping them. But Grace's brutality didn't stop there. She actively joined in the selection process for the gas chambers and intentionally selected beautiful women out of jealousy and spite. 
She even went as far as keeping lampshades made from the skin of three dead prisoners as trophies. Finally, when the British arrested Grace in the spring of 1945, she was charged with numerous war crimes. She pleaded not guilty in court, but the testimony of her surviving victims and witnesses proved damning and was enough to give her the death sentence. On December 13, 1945, at the young age of 22, she became the youngest woman to be hanged under British law during the 20th century. And shockingly, her reaction to the sentence was not short of evil, showing a lack of remorse. It's believed that she reportedly boasted about her crimes and even tried to justify them, claiming she was only following orders. Which of these stories sent a wave of shock and chills down your spine? Or which had you heard of before now? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us to stay informed on our newest videos.